Have you ever seen a fucking chicken tender do this? Look at this shit. I got these, um, you know how McDonald's, they had like those chicken selects thing? Yeah, yeah, the, you know, those chicken selects. Um, yeah, there we go. And you get three of them in a box. But, um, I just got mine and I opened it and it's doing this. I'm sorry, man. Something doesn't seem right about that. It doesn't look like fucking... What What kind of fat... I had to get some pizza. What kind, what kind of fucking... It, it literally stretches like a piece of fucking plastic. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, Illuminati, but it looks a lot like fucking plastic to me, man. It looks a lot like plastic. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be fat. But something doesn't seem right about that. Something does not seem right about that. Well, whatever. I'm still gonna eat it. Anyways, guys, we are here to talk about um, Metroid Prime. Um, what is it? Fuckeration Force? Fucker in the Pussy Force? Yeah, we're gonna be talking about that game today. I already can tell, you know, I mean, well, not that I can tell. I already saw the reaction of what people were saying. In fact, I wanna see how many fucking dislikes does that video have now? Metroid Prime Federation. Damn, you can't even fucking search it. Let's see, how many dislikes? Currently on 68,000. Good God almighty. And I saw the petition too, to be able to get the game to like, halt development. We are going to be talking about this today because apparently, apparently, somebody who's like a head of marketing for the whole thing is um, replying to it. Okay, so Scott Mofit. We hear the fans' complaints about Metroid Prime Federation Force. This will be in the description as my videos um, usually have. One thing that fans didn't appreciate at E3 was the announcement of Metroid Prime Federation Force. Nintendo of America Executive VP of Sales and Marketing, Scott Mofit. So this guy, um, he's not just somebody that works on the uh, Metroid Prime Federation Force. He actually isn't. He's the head of sales and marketing. So a really big name at Nintendo. He says that the company is aware of the vocal fan feedback for the game. As has previously been reported, there is currently a petition to cancel the game, which has received 20,000 signatures to date. Here's what Mofit had to say about the reaction of the game and the feedback to, and the feedback that they are taking on board. We love our fans. They're the most passionate vocal group of fans I've ever seen, and we listen carefully to their opinions. Um, we respect their opinions and their right to share their opinions with us. We try to make the best decisions that we can with them in mind, but also with our content in mind, with our franchises in mind. A lot goes into the decision of what games to produce and which games not to produce. I don't pretend to know how all these decisions are made. You know, real down-to-earth kind of guy. We certainly appreciate our fans' enthusiasm for the Metroid franchise. It's a franchise I love as well, and I hope that they will find other games in the 14 we've announced at E3 that they can play in the meantime, while we all wait for the game we'd like to come out in the Metroid franchise. So, he's sort of accepted that people are upset about it. He's not apologizing or anything like that, or even saying that the game's going to be canceled. Basically, from what he said in this, it's basically a fuck you, we're still making this game, deal with it. He basically said deal with it. That's the way I perceive this whole thing. I don't know, man. I mean... Yeah, he basically said deal with it, dude. Like, there's no other way to go about it. He said, we respect your opinions. We like that you're passionate about the series. That's all. That is literally all. He said, I hope they will find the other games in the 14 we announced that they can play in the meantime while we all wait for the game we'd like to come out in the Metroid franchise. Yeah, I mean, he basically said, stop bitching. You're going to have to deal with whatever the hell we give you. 14 games, pick from them. If you don't like Metroid Federation Force, oh well. It's tough luck. I mean, um, tough luck. Move on. That's all I can perceive from this whole thing. So obviously, the game isn't going to be canceled, and I don't feel like it should be, because you remember, people's jobs are on the line here. When it comes to Nintendo and make game production, it's not just about all what their fans want. Someone has to get paid, someone has to have family to support, someone has to keep their fucking table with food on it. So I mean, I don't think the game is going to be canceled, I don't think it should be canceled, but I definitely support the fact that people are outcrying about this whole thing. I do support the fact that people are willing to express how negatively they feel about it, and that's fine with me. Acting like babies, I don't know, but expressing, hey, I don't like this, whatever. The petition thing, I don't know. I felt a little bit meh about the petition. I didn't really, I didn't think it was too tasteful. The dislikes on the video to me was enough, but I mean, 
the petition thing? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think went too far in Metroid Prime Federation Forces outcry by fans? Do you think the video dislikes was enough, or do you not like any of it? Do you think that people should have just shut up and not done the dislike thing or anything? Considering that this is definitely not the Metroid game that we were hoping for, I can understand why people are upset. And I support people being upset with this whole thing and expressing that, but only in only in tasteful ways, you know? The petition was kind of like a bad move, you know? I, don't, I, I didn't really feel that good about it, that's why I didn't report on the petition, because, you know, there's a lot more about a game than just what the fans want, per se. You know, there's already people working on this, there's probably indie developers, maybe, or somebody whose job is relying on this game coming out. I, I think that's a little bit insensitive, but um, the dislikes on the video, uh, by all means, go for it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Wait a minute, this thing still doesn't work.